Hey, it's Sam, and welcome to Boring Money, where money should be the only boring aspect of your life. Well, if you're watching this video, then you're probably wondering how you can hold yourself accountable. Well, stick around because that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. On my channel, I always release videos on digital marketing and passive income strategies, so consider subscribing. Also, if you want, you can click on the link below to get access to my recession-proof business model that will teach you how to build an online business from the ground up. So don't worry if you have zero experience because you'll get the best training that will make you the top marketer. Great, let's get to the content. Holding yourself accountable is one of the most human things that you can do. Because if you learn how to hold yourself accountable, you're going to learn how to grow as a person, as, as a human being. We're humans. We're all humans. We make mistakes, but there's going to be a different light on you if you hold yourself accountable for the mistakes you make compared to someone who doesn't hold themselves accountable, right? The kid stole a cookie from the cookie jar and they don't say that it's them and they try to get away with it. The thrill about getting away with something that you shouldn't have done, it opens a path for those people to start doing the same thing in the future over and over again. And that's how a lot of people can fall into bad habits or negative habits that affect their lives. If you hold yourself accountable for those mistakes that you made, then you're opening yourself to a path where you're allowing yourself to grow as a person. You're aware that you're making mistakes and you're going to overcome those mistakes in the future. You're going to better yourself, right? Now, holding yourself accountable in the moral way is one thing, but holding yourself accountable in of, of your own actions on the other hand that's a different story and typically procrastination is a, a huge enemy of holding yourself accountable right as a kid you tell yourself oh once i get home i'm gonna do my homework but instead we're gonna we're, we're playing games or talk to friends and doing everything except for doing that homework as a responsible adult we need to pay bills we need to get the job done and uh we hold ourselves accountable to actually getting things done on time and getting things done up to the standards that we were expected to do right just really finishing the job so that our piece of the puzzle is completed and then we hand it over to the bigger piece of the bigger puzzle right it's not just about doing the right thing or finishing your job it's also about completing the tasks you set yourself to do one of the biggest examples in my life and in a lot of people's lives is uh is staying healthy losing weight things like that for me it was losing weight because uh because because last time i weighed myself uh before i started losing weight uh, i was the maximum weight I was at was maybe around 230 or 240. I, I didn't really weigh myself back then because uh, I was scared that <laughs> looking at the weight, I would just really feel super embarrassed. And the reason why I wanted to lose weight is because I started having health issues. I also didn't really feel good about myself. Confidence wasn't there. I couldn't get on camera. And my overall job performance was really bad i started getting tired easily i my, my eating habits were, were, were really bad and it was easier for me to succumb to to all these commercials that was, that was on the uh, on the on the internet on, and on tv i see a hamburger and i want to just buy it right away and eat it so in order for me to get rid of all that i started doing keto i started holding myself accountable to meet my goal weight so that i'm I'm back to my normal health again. Because during those times, I was uh, I was really stressed. All I wanted was instant satisfaction. I was super tired of the anxiety I had, especially with uh, with the pandemic going around. And in my mind, something clicked for me. I needed to live to see more of my future, to be able to have kids in the future, right? So I need to stay healthy. I need to start being healthy. And I need to stay consistent with that health. And here's what I'm getting at. In, in order to hold yourself accountable, you can't just say things and expect things to go that way. Because if you say something, you better do it because that's accountability. So if you can force yourself to have that mindset to, to, to do the things that you say, holding yourself accountable is a lot easier than you, you think. The thing about taking action, everyone tells you to take action. You got to take action to, to start doing something. You got to take action to, uh, to live the way you want to live in the future, right? Taking action is one thing. The thing about taking action is that your action needs to be consistent. You can't just take action for just one day. For me, when I started keto, I told, I made my mind think, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to stop eating carbs. I'm going to start doing keto. I'm going to start losing weight and I'm going to become my confident self again. I'm going to get my old body back 50 pounds less than, than what I was before. And it takes time to prepare for that. A lot of people fail to hold themselves accountable because they just think that they can just jump right into it. And the next day they could just give up expecting things to be different. That's not how it works. You're on a diet. You're not on a diet for one day. You're not on a diet for two days. You're not on a diet for a week. You're on that diet for at least three months or four months 
until you reach your goal. Remove the idea of of uh, instant satisfaction. Because for you to achieve your goal, whether it's weight loss goals or uh, or making money goals or just any kind of goal that you want to achieve, then you need to practice delayed gratification. And if you don't know what delayed gratification is, you can uh, check this video out here because I, I talk about it a lot, especially relating to uh, making money or, or just saving in general because a lot of people have money issues, uh, me included. I wish to have more money than I have right now and I don't and that's a problem for me. So I try to achieve it. I try to plan things to meet that goal. In order for you to see real results, you need to take action every single day until you achieve that goal and then make new goals for you to achieve so that you can keep on continuing that consistency for the long haul so that you as a person will change as, as a goal setter and as a, a person that finishes that goal, right? Write your plans down in the, in the list so that you can check off the things, your tasks off, right? That itself, no matter how small the things are that you completed, these micro goals that you're creating for yourself will make you feel better in the long run. Every single task that you create, every single task that you check off, that you finish, that you complete, they're going to add up to something even bigger. Write things down if you need to. Put in your phone if you need to. Make reminders on your, on your, on your, uh, on your iPad if you need to. As long as you can do the things that you set out to do, that you told yourself to do within a good amount of time, that's one step closer to achieving your goal. Lose that weight, start that course, build that relationship, pick up that phone and start calling the leads that you have. You just got to start somewhere and to be better at something, you got to keep practicing, right? Now, if you found this video helpful and valuable, please leave a comment down below and let me know. It will help with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to learn how to start your own online affiliate marketing business, then be sure to click on the link down below because you're going to learn how to do it the right way. There's a lot of crap out there that you want to stay away from because they're going to teach you the simplest way as, as fast as they can, but you're going to generate possibly zero income or even lose money. If you want to learn how to promote things of value, such as information on teaching people how to solve their problems, whether it's making money, whether it's improving themselves, whether whether it's guitar lessons or learning how to invest in real estate, be sure to click on the link down below because you're going to get a free four day video training series that will teach you the benefits of affiliate marketing and how you can get started. Imagine being able to provide value to people to enhance people's qualities of lives and being able to make money while doing so. It's a really good feeling because all you're doing is recommending products that will solve people's problems. And on top of that, you're collecting commission by helping people solve their problems with these products. You're going to learn how to pick and choose the best products to promote. You're going to learn how to build an email list for yourself and learn how to recommend even more products that, that will help other people. So with that said, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for joining me in this session. I hope you learned some valuable tips and tricks to begin your affiliate marketing career. If you want to find out more about doing affiliate marketing the right way, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, and hit the bell icon if to be notified when I upload a new video. For more tips, be sure to subscribe into my email list and get the 8-step affiliate marketing mastery guide for free. And I'll see you on the other side.